Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I'm going to demonstrate how using Docker Compose you can build a new Liberty Docker image with the DayTrader application which accesses the DB2 running on a DB2 container. So let us start the demo by launching the Docker Quick Start Terminal. So here we could see there are two folders DB2 and Liberty and then a Docker Compose.yml file. In the docker compose.yml file, we will be defining the information about the services, I mean the docker containers we wanted to start. So here we are going to use the file version as 2 and the, we are going to define two services for running the data application. Because the data application uses the db2 running on the another container, so we have, we have defined a db2 service and the data application is running in a liberty service. So here you could see we are giving build equal to dot slash db2 slash dots which indicates you build a db2 image using the docker file which is available in under this folder. Similarly, we'll be building a new liberty image and when you start the db2 container, so it is going to do the port mapping 50,000 to 50,000 and then this is a command which will be executed as part of the container startup and then we will be passing these two environment variables during the container startup and we are going to specify the container name as db2 because the liberty makes use of the uh, db2 service name as db2 and then we are going to define both the things as part of the network net1. So similarly, in case of Liberty, we are going to do the port mapping 9080 to 9080 and here we have specified as links because this container depends on that container. So when you specify either links or depends on, it will first going to start the DB2 container and then it is going to start the Liberty container. And here we have defined the network. So both these services are going to be part of the same network. So now let us get into the db2 folder and see what we have here. Here we have just a docker file. So we are going to use the db2 express image which we have pulled from the docker hub as the base image. And then we are just going to create a sample database. So now let us get into the Liberty folder. I have already explained in my previous videos in detail about the Draytrader application. So we will just have a glance of it. So here we are going to use WebSphere Liberty kernel as a base image and then we are going to copy the relevant application XML and the jar files to the uh, default server folders and then we are going to use install utility to install the required features. And this is going to be the server.xml. So in the server.xml we could see that we are using the server name as db2. So that's why we have given the container name as db2. Now let us launch the docker compose command. docker compose up is a command to start. So first it is creating the network and then it is creating the two containers db2 and the liberty container. So here we could see it is giving the information the output of the both the container logs. So the db2 has been started successfully. Now the liberty container it is monitoring uh, the drop-ins folder for the application. And then you could clearly see the data application has been successfully started. So let us access the application in the web browser. The application name is DayTrader. So we could clearly see that data application has been successfully launched. So let's click the configuration. So create data database. So the database tables are getting created. So let us update some configuration information. So let's make it to 150 so that we'll be able to run the application So Then we'll click update config. So it has been updated. Now let us go and populate the data database. The database is getting populated. The tables has been successfully populated. Now let us go and perform some operations. Click login. Go to codes and trades. Perform some transaction and then click log off. So as part of this demo, you have seen how using Docker Compose, we were able to build new uh, Docker images for Liberty and DB2 and successfully run the Daytrader application. Thanks for watching the demo.